Hi everybody, I thought I would come on and show the journal I've been working on. Um, Desiree Coomerly of Include a Thank You. Um, I, I did this um, with her instructions. Um, she's been doing lives for, oh gosh, at least a month now. Um, I think maybe a little longer, but anyway, um, so I thought I would just show this really quickly. Um, I'm sorry that my camera doesn't zoom in anymore, um, but there you go. Um, so, and these papers are from, oh, for heaven's sake, I'll think of it. I'll put it in the description box. Um, but anyway, this was an old stamp from my mother. It's a woodblock rubber stamp uh, for a little book plate. But just very quickly, um, this paper is from Mindless Crafting. Some old graph paper, some papers I tea dyed. I don't even remember whose printable that was. Um, these are just some scraps I stuck into the pockets. This is an uh, altered paper clip for a bookmark. Book pages. I got some. Gosh, you can get books at thrift stores. I got this. This book was like 25 or 50 cents at the library on their book sale table. Uh, pockets and tags. And then I put together. Here's another paper clip. And that's like a little, almost like a little key tag dangle. And this paper clip has a pocket. So, more pages. This is actually still a work in progress, too. Uh, this is for ephemera or more pockets. Aren't these? These pages are just so pretty. It makes me think of Audubon. Uh, little tucks there. And I will eventually put some beads or something on there for a dangle. Uh, oh, these butterflies are from um, Scrappy Tails. Yeah, those are Scrappy Tails. And then, of course, that's just some of the ephemera from this kit. Oh, Pink Monarch Prince. Yeah, that's from Anna at Pink Monarch Prince. That's who this paper is from. Anyway, that's pretty much more book pages. Just all kinds of stuff in here. Then our center. Um, I'm not decided what I'm going to put on here yet. There's our center pocket. And then here's the second signature in here. Uh, part of the Trader Joe's bag. Little envelopes. Uh, some of these envelopes have ephemera in them. 
with those pretty little envelopes. Another tuck pocket, a little more ephemera. Oh, here's another paper clip that I did. Uh, just a little different. It's got some uh, embossing powder with some flaky things on it. Um, shoot, I can't remember that. So a little washi tape to kind of just kind of hide the seam where the paper meets. I did that with a paper grocery sack too. They are Stampendous Frontage Fragments. I've got rose and blue. And chiffon. So I use some of the blue in here, and then that is some well embossing powder. Uh, some chunky stuff. So another pocket. Envelopes. These envelopes do have a little ephemera in there. There's another belly band. So it's not quite finished, but it's coming along. I just, uh, I haven't even been working on it every single night, just some nights. So, and um, that's just a tuck layer. So, anyway, that is what I have so far. Uh, let's see, these. This is some watercolor paper. I just put some watercolor on it, and uh, that's an Altenew dye. So that, that's my journal so far. I was, um, I was actually very proud of it. Uh, I think it turned out. Pretty well for somebody who's not a, you know, I'm not very experienced. I've made a few journals. This is my most ambitious one so far. Um, and I really like it. I like the colors because I'm team blue. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the little walkthrough. Um, be sure to check out include a thank you if you are interested in doing um, a journal, seeing what journaling is all about, and I will see you all in the next video.